William McRae. Mr. McRae. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure everyone in this House thought that we had, and we had hoped and prayed that we had left such tragedies behind us. But sadly, Friday morning brought the Southampton community and Northern Ireland itself to the realisation that there are still wicked and evil men in our society that desire to destroy the stability and tranquillity of Northern Ireland. Peter Heflin was a young man, and whilst many people may speak about him as a Catholic police officer, as far as I personally am concerned and the people of my constituents are concerned, it was an attack upon a police officer, a police officer of courage and distinction, a young man that put his life upon the line to give the rest of the people of Northern Ireland stability, and tragically, he is very, very seriously ill. To his dear wife and to his parents and the family circle, on behalf of my colleague and also my own party, I'd like to extend our good wishes to Peter today and also to the nursing staff and doctors that are fighting for his return to health and strength. A few uh, months ago, just a mile down the road, two young soldiers were brutally murdered and two young civilians were uh, brutally attacked as well. The community, as Mr Ford rightly said, not only in Southampton but Northern Ireland as a whole, stood not only aghast but condemned without reservation the brutal attack upon those two police officers and those two civilians. And today we stand united to condemn them. But our condemnation, Mr Speaker, will not be enough. I genuinely believe that those who have the responsibility within the PSNI to find out where these evil persons are, they have to go after them and they have got to bring them to justice. I believe this House today will stand united against this brutal act of terrorism. I salute Peter's courage, I, I salute his family's courage, and I earnestly pray that soon he will be restored to a measure of health and strength. Here, here.